Hi parents, uh, it's Mr. Simpson, just here to talk to you guys about flutes, specifically flute players. Uh, we're now into the full instrument, we're getting our full fingerings going, and it's really hard. And the reason for that is, flute as an instrument, uh, the fingering system is simultaneously non-linear and non-sequential, which is just a really fancy way of saying it's just really hard. So the one really big thing I want to recommend to parents out there is that if you see your kids sitting watching TV, if you're on a long car ride, if you're going somewhere over the weekend, take that flute out, put it in your kid's hand, and just have them go through the fingerings. Uh, most of your kids should have stickers on their keys now to show them exactly where their fingerings go, and they're color-coded at this point so that they can see that one set will be for their D, and then the other set will be for C. So it should make those two fingerings a lot easier to find. Uh, B flat is thumb one and pinky, uh, D is going to be one and pinky, and then, I'm sorry, C is going to be one and pinky, and then D is thumb, two, three, one, two, three. So you can see how they line up pretty easily. So again, just put the instrument in your kid's hands, just have them practice. D to C, C to B flat, B flat to D, D to B flat, just back and forth. Because the more they do that, the more it's going to get drilled into their motor memory, which is really going to help them when they come into class and we're swapping between the fingerings super fast. So again, your child's having trouble, put the instrument in their hands. They don't even have to blow into it. They don't have to make any noise. Just have them go through those fingerings. It is a huge help for building up that muscle memory. Thanks.